Hello, my name is Tyler with Truckee Vanco. We just completed three brand new 2022 ProMasters and I want to take you on a tour of one of them. I'm Nate Murphy and I have literally just bought this van to show you how to build a van. We have made a really detailed course which will help you go from this to this. You will learn everything you need. We help you specify your electrical system and you'll be able to access a community all building their own vans at the same time. This van we're calling Timber. It is pretty much all cedar wall paneling with a natural, uh, real stone tile backsplash. We'll start with the kitchen. This is probably my favorite part of the van. The reason why is because it's a pretty awesome setup to cook if you're living in this thing full time or if you want more than just a weekend. We have a 110 liter fridge, Dometic. <laughs> it's currently filled with beer from an open house we had a couple days ago. We've got a freezer in the back, some uh, toggle options if you want to change the actual cooling temperature. Uh, over here we have a gas stove. Uh, I'm a really big fan of propane cooking on gas over induction. So we added this thing. There's a high BT burner in the back, which is pretty much essential. Over here we have our uh, faucet and sink. We have 20 gallons of fresh water and a seven gallon gray water tank that can drain to the underside of the van. Simply turn on the water switch right there, turn that on, coil spring faucet, works super well, soap dispenser, broom over there, and we'll show you underneath. Yeah, this is the little toggle switch. We have a quick connect right in the back of this on, on this drain that connects to that little piece. Really what makes Chucky Vanco different is that we use uh, super high quality all wood cabinets. So these cabinets were designed and built by us. They are all birch. So custom cabinetry with super high quality hardware. We have our cabinet system super dialed. You can see we have these really fancy Blum or Bloom, not sure how to pronounce that brand, but top of the line European hardware. Works super well. Oh, this is a little accessory for the sink. So like I mentioned, closet, closet bar. We have shelving underneath the closet. Our water tank lives back behind this false bottom. We've got these soft close drawers. And moving over in this direction, I wanna to touch on kind of the living room area. We have a table that pops out. This thing is uh, 24 inches by 30 inches, which is really nice. Typically vans have lagoon tables, which are generally quite small. And this is really the optimal size if you wanna sit down with your laptop, uh, have some paper adjacent to it, or just cook a big meal with some friends and have them all join you. Um, cubby storage right below the table. And we've of course have a toilet. This is a Dometic cassette toilet, slides out toilet paper and a little area for hand sanitizer located right there. Um, in addition, the other really cool thing about this bench is that you can pop off these cushions quite easily. And it shows more storage more storage this is where you have some just random accessories that come with the van water fill up kit uh and then additional storage back here i'll plop these back on um let's go talk about this wall panel so dimmer switch right here this is a max air fan remote so you just press this thing once turns on Pretty cool. We'll turn that off. Uh, AC outlet, USB chargers connected to DC power. We've got our inverter. 
thermostat with a Webasto heater. This heater connects to the actual gas tank of the car and the heater itself lives underneath the seat. This is a really unique feature that you don't see in a lot of vans. This is a Pico Symarine system or a Symarine Pico system. This is how we monitor our battery in our tank. So as you can see, I could go to our battery, it tells me what percentage I'm at, how much time is remaining with the current usage that I'm uh, that I'm going through, my voltage, current. Uh, oh, I, I guess I haven't actually connected the, the car battery on this one or the water tank, but I do have the temperature and the pressure. Let's just talk about the car for a second. We have uh, Scopema swivel seats, which are super, super fancy. Nice. These things swivel really easily and are not super tall, so you don't feel like the passenger is riding really high. Uh, the 2022 Promaster is a total change from the previous versions. There is wireless airplay and a bunch of super fancy features. Going back over here, turn that off. We've got a bookshelf, nightstand, little uh, area to throw toiletries more cabinets same blum hardware and then another nightstand back there we've got these reading lights which are pretty sweet this is a full-size bed so it actually goes um it fits uh it's six feet and two inches um lengthwise so you can be a pretty tall human and be super comfortable that's really one of the main advantages of the pro master so let's head around back and talk about what we got going on in the garage cool so in this van here we've got an electrical system oh turn this on uh under bed lighting so we've got ample space uh lots of storage areas and then like i said the electrical system is comprised of a 200 amp hour battery a 50 amp uh DC to DC charge controller with MPPT. So that can essentially charge this battery off of our 300 watts of solar panels on the roof or the car alternator in the front. We've got our uh, Symarine shunt, a thousand watt inverter, fuse box over there, all of our fancy wiring all organized nicely. Over here is a shower. This thing is really awesome. It hooks up to our propane tank, which lives in this vented and sealed container. I'll take that out. There's a little latch system, pops open. We've got all of our fittings up there. And then in addition to that, our propane tanks come outfitted with a Bluetooth device so you can monitor them on your phone. Uh, in addition to that, this is the location of the water tank fill port. This is for fresh water. And then over here, we have ski storage. So these can fit skis up to 195 centimeters in length. Uh, and then, yeah, one other thing to mention for the shower, this thing pops up right there. So yeah, if you wanna take a shower, it's super easy to add a curtain between the two, the two doors if, the, if that's needed for privacy, or you can just have a nice outdoor shower like that. One other thing to mention is that on the roof of our vans, on all three, we have these pivot Starlink mounts, which are really, really slick. So if you have a Starlink satellite, you can just pivot that thing right up, pops right down, and it's super easily accessible. So the reason why we chose this specific layout and really why we think it's the best build is because after living in the van for three years, I found that it's really essential to have a space that feels like a home and not just a confined automotive looking van build. So what we did intentionally was have a very large kitchen on one side and then a very large seating area on the other side. This bench comfortably fits three people and then the swivel seat that we have over here comfortably fits a fourth. So you can easily have four people eating in your van at one time uh, and it really feels more like a home there's there's no there's no upholstered wall panels everything's natural wood and it just feels comfortable which is really what we were going for and that's it for our van build named timber we got two more vans uh please check them out on our website they're all listed there the website is truckyvanco.com thanks bye
You may have noticed that you can buy our ebook. Our ebook shows you how to build a band conversion. It has 190 pages of text, diagram, and images showing you various options or various systems. It also comes with 25 videos that show you hands on how to do many parts of building a van. Also, we have a course. The course is really in depth. It shows you everything from how to use basic tools all the way through to doing your gas, your water, and your electric installation. Not only that, but within the course, we support you hands on in making your electrical specification. And you get to join a community community of like-minded van builders who are building their vans at exactly the same time. Follow the links to find out more and thanks for watching.